Hi, I'm Mr. Nazarian. Our learning objective today, I can use what I know about division problems involving fractions to solve real-world problems. It's a fifth grade standard, 5NF7C. Let's take a look at our problem today. Joe has five pineapples. He wants to make some mini upside-down pineapple cakes. Yum! Each cake takes one-third of a pineapple. How many cakes can he make with the pine pineapples that he has? So, when we look at these problems, the very first thing that we want to do is we want to look at what's the question. So the question of what we're trying to solve is how many cakes, and I'm going to underline this, how many cakes can he make with the pineapples that he has? Okay, so we want to look and say, well, all right, so if we want to know how many cakes he can make with the pineapples, we already know how many pineapples total he has. And that is five, so he has five pineapples. And each cake takes one third of a pineapple. So once we have, we know what the question is, then we can decide what important information in there. Joe's a great kid, but that's not important in solving this problem. Um, you know, this right here. What we really want to focus here is that he has fine, five pineapples total, and that for every one third of a pineapple, he can make one cake, and we want to know how many cakes. So, if we look at that, we say, want to say, okay, so I know that I'm taking something here, five pineapples, and I want to figure out how many times I can take out one-third. How many groups of one-third will fit into this five pineapples? So that makes me think this has to be a division problem because I'm taking it, I'm div dividing it up into uh, equal parts or taking away parts. Um, and the fact that I know that I'm starting with five pineapples tells me that the dividend is five and then I'm figuring out how many groups of one-third so that's going to be the divisor so it's going to look like this as a math sentence. So we have 5 divided by 1 third, and that's going to give us our quotient, which is going to be how many cakes, um, how many groups of 1 third can fit into 5. So <clears throat> what this is going to look like is a di uh, diagram or a drawing. I can make, I can have five circles here. Each one of these five circles, remember, represents the five pineapples. And I know that if I take um, that one-third of this pineapple is going to give me one cake. So I'm going to divide this up into thirds. So this pineapple I've made broken up into thirds. I'm going to do the same thing with each of the other pineapples. So of my five pineapples, all of them I'm going to cut into thirds because in the story problem, it says that one third, um, that one third is going to give me one cake. <coughs> so I just go through and I go, okay, here's this is going to be one cake, two, three cakes. So I can make three cakes, three uh, little mini upside down pineapple cakes with one whole pineapple. So one, two, three. Remember, each of these thirds is representing. Uh, uh, cake, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. So again, each of these thirds represents the amount of pineapple needed for one cake, so each of these thirds represents one cake. So you can tell, do, 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 that we have, we can make 15 cakes if we have five pineapples, which Joe does, and if it takes one third of a pineapple for each cake, that means that we can make 15 cakes. And that is our quotient. We've solved the problem. All right. Great job. We're going to continue working this uh, in class tomorrow. Thanks.